The suspect, Jacoby Johnson, was apprehended by university police near the Kidd dormitory on campus. Mayor Ronnie Walker says he will be charged with four counts of attempted murder. What's going on, America? I'm the right wing danger out of a Mac. And in this video, we're going to talk about a story that nobody wants to talk about. And I bet you can guess the reason nobody wants to talk about it. We have a mass stabbing out of Louisiana Tech University where a black student stabbed four white women. Let me say that again. A black student stabbed four white women. And one of them actually ended up dying. But have you heard about this in the mainstream media? Has there been wall-to-wall -wall news coverage, 24-hour news coverage about that story? Of course not, because the perpetrator and the victims are the wrong color. Let's check this out. Good afternoon to you. I'm Jasmine Anderson. Breaking news this noon, there is a heavy police presence on scene of a stabbing on Louisiana Tech's campus. Our Devontae Martin joins us from Louisiana Tech right now. Devontae, authorities confirm one person is in custody. Jasmine, this morning a stabbing occurred at the Sports Center on Louisiana Tech campus around 9 a.m. Campus police say four people were injured. We were told by several sources that one person was in critical condition, but that has not been confirmed by police. We also know that one student was airlifted to the hospital in Shreveport. Two were taken to the hospital in Ruston. The suspect was apprehended near the kid dormitory on campus and has been taken into custody. Okay, I got to stop this story because I know y'all probably thinking the same thing that I was thinking when I first started saw this. Uh, what? What kind of reporter is this? Have y'all noticed something? And I hate to, to, to take away from the story because the story is really tragic and I'm going to give my two cents on it. But have y'all noticed something that the majority of the reporters that you see on news stations today, they're all black. Have you noticed that? So it, it just seems like a lot of these people are just given positions just because they're black. And that's why I hate affirmative action. That's why I hate being put in positions based on skin color and not based on qualifications. Because from what it looks like to me, this person can barely read, can barely speak properly. Talk about some police, the police. But yet and still, he's giving a news report about a very, very, very important story. Or is it the fact that they saw this as a kind of a throwaway news story that they can give the, maybe he's an intern or just starting out, or maybe they just pulled him off the street. Maybe this story was just so unimportant to them that they just got anybody to report it. Had it been a white person who stabbed a bunch of black women do you think that they would have handed this story to this guy who could barely read off his phone trying to report on this story i don't think so expect an update from the campus police in the coming hours jasmine okay so that's that's all they got on this story this was i guess the preliminary report on this story but as you can see Police respond to stabbing at Louisiana Tech, one victim dead and three injured. So the initial report was that there were four people stabbed and there was one person in critical condition. That person ended up dying, as you can see right here. After a random act, after a random act of violence, Louisiana Tech stabbing victim Annie Richardson dies. It's very sad. RIP to Annie Richardson. I'm going to keep her family in my prayers tonight. I I am truly saddened by what we see in this country where people just decide to go on shooting sprees or stabbing sprees where they just take the lives of innocent people or injure innocent people for no reason at all. They have mental health issues. They have bones to pick with certain people and then they involve other people that have nothing to do with why they're upset and this is just what happens i want to show you guys a photo of the perpetrator just so you can see who he is and i'm not i'm not lying about him being black so this is him right here this is jacoby johnson that's his name 
Jacoby Johnson. He looks like a square, lame, loner, has horrible interpersonal skills. Somebody that probably can't get a date, can't find any woman to sleep with him because he's just lame and uninteresting. But instead of working on himself and trying to improve himself, no, he wants to stab random women. Disgusting individual. I hope he receives the harshest consequence that he can receive for the horrible act of violence that he perpetrated on four innocent women. But the, the thing I really wanted to touch on is the fact that when you have stories like this, Tragic stories like this where people's lives are altered forever and sometimes people's lives are lost. If the race of the victims and the race of the perpetrator do not match the mainstream media's narrative, then they won't cover it. They won't touch it. They won't touch it with a 10 foot pole. And I have not seen this story posted anywhere except on my social media page on my Instagram well, I reported it. And maybe some people talked about it on Twitter. But the mainstream media outlets, have you seen this on CNN, MSNBC? Nope, you haven't. Because they don't care to talk about stories like this. It shouldn't matter if the victims are white or black. It shouldn't matter if the perpetrator is white or black. When you have a story like this, a tragic story like this, where innocent people's lives are lost, or innocent people are hurt, then you should cover the story. You should treat the story with the same amount of importance that you would treat it if the races were reversed. Because who's to say that this person, Jacoby Johnson, didn't stab these women just because they were white? I wouldn't put it past them. It's a strong possibility that that's what happened. But nobody is going to make that assumption. Why? Do you believe that black people can't be racist? Is that why you wouldn't make that assumption? Because I guarantee you, if it was a white man or a white student who stabbed four black people, random black people, I guarantee you the first thing that the mainstream media outlets would say is this is an act of racism. This is an act of white supremacy. Well, why isn't the act, why isn't what Jacoby Johnson did an act of racism and an act of black supremacy? Why did you target four random white women? Why were they all white? You would ask that question if it was a white man. Why did all the people that you target, why were they all black? You must be racist. Well, I'm going to say it. I'm going to declare it myself. Jacoby Johnson is a racist black man who targeted four white women because he does not like white people. There. I'm going to do exactly what the mainstream media outlets would do had the races been reversed. Because it is unfair the way that the mainstream media outlets cover these stories. And I'm saying that as a black man. I want to receive the same amount of attention if I was the person doing something horrible to white people than if someone who was white was doing something horrible to black people. That's how it should be. That's what equality looks like in this country. And if you really want equality in this country, then you would be advocating for the same thing that I'm advocating for. But you won't because you don't really care about equality. And I'm not talking about the people that's watching this video that subscribe to my channel or appreciate this type of content. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the people who would criticize this video and say that I hate black people or I'm tap dancing for the white man just because I'm making these statements. I'm talking about you. You don't really care about equality. All you care about is supremacy. You want stories about black victims to be covered and you want stories about white victims to be ignored just admit it because that's what it is thank you so much for watching this video please hit the like button share comment subscribe all that good stuff all right i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out peace